Yeah, well, hey, if it's like good enough for Jesus in the Bible, it's good enough for me. Good enough for them. Something coming from a war-torn country or some fucking, like, bloodthirsty dictator is going to be able to learn everything they need to learn, you know, ever learn the English language before they come here. I wrote the Bible in English. They can learn it, too. Yeah. Checkmate atheists right there. Oh, man. If I ever needed more Bible. proof. This is the Bible. I'm God. I'm writing it, and it's in fucking English. Leviticus 24.5. <laughs> yep. And then he said, no fags. I, I believe that was the next passage, right? No homo. That's in yes. Leviticus as well. 25.17. No fags allowed. So yep. The law. Oh, you man. have been eating the law, correct? Yes. <sighs> oh, man. You gotta really make you wonder if he was having some sort of, like, uh, mental mental break there. He's like, no, uh, uh, no gays and no shrimp and no no mixed fabric cloth. Uh. <laughs> you know, it's a little like, you okay there, guy? Man, I've been reading about, like, the sources of the Bible, like the original documents that it was sourced from. Uh -huh. it, it's really fucking weird how that religion like evolved over time. No, it was all natural. That religion, you mean? You mean Christianity? For like, <laughs> oh yeah, Yahweh was originally a statue of a golden bull that sat in the temple of Jerusalem and was burned by the Egyptians, and that's why they have the no graven images rule. And was originally one of a pantheon of gods that they later confused with a couple of the other gods by different names and thought they were nicknames for him and blah, 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 blah. Well, hey, you know, the uh, the first council of Nicaea, that, that's really the only... They oh, decided I'm talking that... way this. I'm talking like 9000 BC. Well, I'm just saying that this is the only Chris parts of the Bible that matter. They figured it out here in the Council of Nicaea. So, it's fine. Well, then there's the schism, though. Let's not oh, forget no. the Orthodox Bible has more books than the Catholic Bible, and in a different order. Yeah, and well, then those ones are heretical, so it doesn't matter. Catholic Bible, and then rearranges parts of the other one. In what Martin Luther thought might be a more original manner... Hint, it wasn't. Oh man, yeah, no, he uh, he had all those those feces, right? That he's throwing at the door. That's what he was known for. Just think, throwing if that Martin shit Luther around, had some sex while being a priest, then Protestantism wouldn't even exist today. That's not true. The fucking priesthood was was fucking. Boys, since time immemorial, that's been the game the whole time. Is just how do we get away with diddle and choir boys? Uh, priests were allowed to have wives until, like, you know, surprisingly recently, like a thousand years ago. Oh, oh, that that recently, huh? A thousand <laughs> by by like religious terms. Yeah, I suppose by religious standards, since. It's been around since forever. Yeah, you're right. But originally, Catholic priests could have sex with uh, with people other than little boys. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, oh, yeah, <laughs> we we all know. But it was a mandatory then. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't a fringe benefit of of the of the job. It's really getting hard for me to believe at this point that the Catholic Church is anything other than a literal organized pedophile ring. Like, it, yeah, we well. joke and shit, but it literally seems like the purpose of it is just to fuck little boys. And yeah. launder money. And launder money, yeah. Launder Nazi gold. That's, and, uh... Uh, and, and mafioso gold and money. Yeah, basically anybody 
who who needs some money laundered. We got you. In the Cartilant. cash ledger. Yes. Precisely. Yeah, I believe it was. Uh, wasn't it the Sicilian mob that they had ties to back? Uh, probably not too long ago. Probably less than a hundred years ago. Catholic. The Church and the Mafia. I mean, the Borgia Popes basically were our mafia. Oh, goodness. You got a paywall. Nope, here's the Sicilian Mafia. Cosa Nostra. That thing of ours. That thing that we do. How about that? They do a whole host of legal legal intramural activities. Like votes buying and smugglings and bid rigging and loan shocking and forbidden crimes. What's funny is that most of those aren't even a big deal really. It's like why shouldn't most of that be allowed? What Most bit? called crimes shouldn't even be illegal. What, you think it should be legal to sell your vote? Each other's shitty loans and beat the fuck out of each other over it. What, do you think people should be allowed to sell their votes? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, should people even have a fucking <laughs> vote in the government that's not for, like, a one-party state? I mean, you know me. I'm a vanguardist. Like, why should people have the opportunity to make the wrong decision, in my opinion? Why should there be any candidate on the ballot other than a communist? Because we need to protect people from themselves. Don't you understand the paternalist way? We have to protect them from themselves. They're too stupid to know any better. Also, we have to give them the illusion of choice. the, The ability to buy votes in general is uh, is kind of what we're fighting against right now essentially yeah we get a whole host of problems with that where you know there are more than more than enough people who would be willing to uh, sell their vote if it means that they don't get evicted what is electioneering but selling vote or buying vote all politicians do in the dictatorship of the bourgeoisie is make promises to buy votes. Yeah, that's that's literally... I said we're fighting against that right now, which is why it shouldn't be allowed. You shouldn't yeah. be allowed to sell your vote, because then you Oh, can, I agree. Just have I'm people. saying under the current you system... Said you didn't I should, no, you here's what I'm saying. To sell your vote, you bitch. Under the current system, <laughs> you're... Uh, uh, expecting to receive something in return. Everyone cast their ballot, because, oh, if I vote for Bernie, I'll get Medicare for all. If I vote for Trump, then white people will be great again. You know, that sort of thing. You're still selling your vote. You're just not selling it for the, to, the benefit of being back slightly less direct. I, would, I, I wish I could, but I just... We don't need to. We don't need to. We, you and I both know, and, and I'm sure Frank knows too, but... Whatever. I'm gonna start separately recording this shit on my phone. No. Like yeah. that, what you say to your fucking face.